Gordon Ramsay is one of the most famous chefs in the world. So why does his restaurant empire sometimes seem to be teetering on the brink of disaster? The Ramsay saga starts 16 years ago when Ramsay opened his first eponymous restaurant in London with the help of his father-in-law, Chris Hutchinson. The duo created a company called Gordon Ramsay Holdings Limited and quickly expanded throughout England, North America, Europe, the Middle East, Africa, and Asia. When the economy crashed in 2008, Ramsay ceded ownership of several of his restaurants to his hotelier partners. After losing about $15 million at the height of the recession, Ramsay also closed restaurants in Dubai, South Africa, London, and Australia. And in 2010, Ramsay fired his father-in-law, the CEO of his company, for allegedly stealing money and hacking into his computer. With Hutchinson out of the picture, Ramsay owned a 69% stake in his company, and he began expanding his empire once again. The next few years saw the opening of an LA farm-to-table restaurant, a London cafe, and three Las Vegas projects. And as fate would have it, the LA restaurant closed last year, along with one of his older properties, Claridge's. To make matters worse, his former LA business partner is now suing him over mismanagement of their closed restaurant, and Ramsay is suing him back with a request for money to cover the legal fees. Amidst all of these lawsuits, Ramsay is looking to sell a 50% stake in his group to an investor, or a group of investors, that will help further expand his restaurant empire. The chef also recently announced plans to conquer Asia, with at least four new restaurants in the works. There's always something weird going on in Gordon Ramsay's universe, but right now it looks like his business, at least, is on the upswing. <laughs>